Hey everyone, this is Weather Forecaster Liam here, and today and overnight tonight, it's very likely we're going to have a large and dangerous severe weather and tornado outbreak across parts of the South Central, Midwest, Ohio Valley, but mainly the Southeastern United States, where large hail, very strong winds, and multiple long-live tornadoes are all very possible today and overnight tonight. And as you see with the latest National Weather Service hazard map, there's a lot going on this morning. To the north, we have winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings for the potential of over a foot of snow from this same system. Now, further to the east and south, we have lots of high wind warnings, watches, and advisories due to the potential for strong and damaging winds. We also have a flash flood watch in place across portions of the southeastern United States, and also in that yellow shaded area, a tornado watch has already been issued across parts of Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. And again, this is going to be an all-day event, and even overnight tonight, the severe threat will still be very much there. So now let's go right to the future radar forecast from the latest NAM model for the eastern half of the United States. We're going to start out at 10 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. You see those severe thunderstorms already across portions of eastern Texas, southern Arkansas, and northern Louisiana. Though to the north, clears up a little, then we start getting some precipitation in the form of frozen precipitation across portions of Iowa, Minnesota, South Dakota, and Nebraska, where some moderate to heavy snow is falling in those locations. Later on day 2 p.m., those thunderstorms continue to make their way eastward into Alabama, Mississippi, more so into Arkansas, Tennessee, and southeastern Missouri. Even some thunderstorms popping up across Georgia and the Carolinas, those could be severe with tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds, and snow continues further on to the north. Now into this evening, those thunderstorms do start to die out a little, maybe try and form a line across Kentucky, Tennessee, and also the ones further on to the east now in the Carolinas. Though we now start getting another band of severe weather, we have multiple lines that develop, probably also supercell thunderstorms, which have the potential for, again, producing tornadoes, especially across the western Alabama, central Mississippi, northeastern Louisiana, eastern Arkansas region. That's where the highest chances for seeing a tornado will be today. As you see, they're right in the middle of all of this action. Later on to the night into even Monday, 1 a.m. Eastern Time, there's currently two lines, according to the NAM model, that develop. One across northwestern Georgia, eastern Alabama, and one right behind it in northwestern Alabama, eastern Mississippi, Tennessee, and also into portions of the Ohio Valley. And also some rain further on to the northeast, mid-Atlantic, and still some snow going on in the north-central United States. But we're now further on to Monday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, it's really just kind of one line now across most of Georgia, southeastern Alabama, the Carolinas, and also Tennessee and Kentucky, and also some heavier rain into the Ohio Valley. Now, to 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning, that line of showers finally starts to weaken just a little, but again, the potential for tornadoes, large hail damage and wind still very much there. Across the Carolinas in southern Georgia, but just some moderate to heavy rain at times across portions of the mid-Atlantic and northeastern United States. And that snow looks to have finally started to work its way on out across portions of the north central and midwestern United States. You really just some snow now across very northern Wisconsin and upper Michigan. Now forward one more time to 4 p.m. Eastern Time Monday evening. Hopefully all the severe weather has worked its way in out and just dealing with some moderate to heavy rain at times for the northeastern United States. And now over to our TRA weather predictions for today, overnight tonight, and into tomorrow. You see actually on this map we have the highest risk category, that area shaded in pink across portions of the southeastern United States. So we're going to go from bottom to top. So the area shaded in green is under a low risk for seeing severe thunderstorms. Higher up than that is the medium risk for seeing severe thunderstorms. The area is shaded in yellow. Major cities include Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Pittsburgh, and Indianapolis. Next up is that red shaded area, that high risk for seeing severe thunderstorms. Major cities include Charlotte, St. Louis, Oklahoma City, Dallas, and Houston. Next up is the very high risk for seeing severe thunderstorms. The area is shaded 
in purple across much of the southeastern United States. Major cities include Nashville, Atlanta, and New Orleans. And now the highest risk category you can have on this map for seeing severe thunderstorms. That area shaded in pink across areas of central and western Alabama, southwestern Tennessee, much of the state of Mississippi. I think Mississippi is really going to be the bullseye during this event. Northern and eastern Louisiana and central and southeastern Arkansas. One major city is included in this highest risk category, and that is the city of Little Rock. Now forward to our tier A weather tour cons for again today, overnight tonight, and into Monday. You see actually on this map we have a tour con of 7 through 8 across much of the area that was shaded in pink and that highest risk for seeing severe thunderstorms. Across again, Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Louisiana. Major cities under high Torcons include Little Rock, Nashville, New Orleans, and Atlanta, though Atlanta does not show up on the list to the right of your screen. All with Torcons of 5 through 6. A little below that is the area shaded in yellow with, with Torcons of 3 through 4, and then the lowest Torcon values of 1 through 2 shaded in that light green area. Okay, now to the storm hazards on this possible severe weather and tornado outbreak. Now, wind shear, that is at a risk level of 5 out of 5. There is so much wind shear in the atmosphere across the southeastern United States. Again, Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Louisiana. I think Mississippi, again, is really going to be the bullseye with the majority of the tornadoes today over night tonight and into tomorrow. And just below that is tornadoes, hail, wind, and power outages at a risk level 4 out of 5. And below that is rain, flooding, lightning, and cape all at risk levels 3 out of 5. The hazardous area is the South Central, Ohio Valley, and Southeastern United States. And the expected time is today, overnight tonight, and into Monday. Now today I'm going to be live on TRA weather with live severe storm coverage on this very likely severe weather and tornado outbreak. Now I am confident this will be the most severe weather outbreak of the year today. So please take this seriously if you live within the very high or highest risk regions. Make sure to keep your no weather radio on to be informed of the latest severe weather alerts. Or if you don't have a no weather radio, make sure your phone hazard alerts are on. For everyone in the path of these storms today, stay safe. I will see you later on with severe weather coverage on TRA Weather.